Far from American shores, a rival power is amassing a fleet of uncrewed vessels designed to hunt and strike without a captain at the helm. U.S. officials know their navy is on the brink of being outpaced. The only way to counter the threat is to unleash a new generation of American autonomous warships. In early March, along the shores of Washington State, residents near Saratoga Passage in Puget Sound spotted an unusual sight. A mysterious vessel, its hull concealed beneath thick wraps, was being pushed through the water by a lone tugboat. No name, no markings, its purpose unknown. Beneath the veil was the first American warship designed to be deployed with no crew. The U.S. Navy prepares to put it through its first real test, and the clock is already ticking. A growing threat. In recent years, U.S. Navy intelligence briefings have sounded the alarm upon identifying a worrisome trend threatening American maritime dominance. China's shipbuilding industry is outproducing the U.S. at an alarming rate, accelerating a shift in naval power that could tip the scales of future conflicts. By 2023, reports confirmed that China's warship production outpaced America's by more than 200 times. The People's Liberation Army Navy, also known as PLAN, had already surpassed the U.S. in total battle force ships by 2020, claiming the largest naval fleet in the world. And the gap is only widening. By 2035, China is projected to have 475 battle-ready warships, while the U.S. fleet is expected to hover between 305 and 317. These numbers have worried numerous U.S. military officials. Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro stated, quote, They have 13 shipyards. In some cases, one shipyard alone has more capacity than all of our shipyards combined. With China's naval war machine accelerating, the U.S. is being forced to rethink its approach to warfare. Competing in sheer numbers is no longer an option. Instead, the Navy is now forced to secure a technological superiority, obtaining an edge American warships can use to outperform their Chinese counterparts. To accomplish this, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, launched the No Manning Required Ship, or NOMARS, program to remove human limitations from naval warfare by creating a new generation of fully autonomous warships. The U.S. has already deployed uncrewed surface vehicles, also called USVs, like the Sea Hunter, a 132-foot, $20 million vessel designed for anti-submarine warfare. But now, as the naval arms race with China intensifies, the U.S. is racing toward its first fully autonomous warship, a vessel designed to operate for extended periods without a single sailor ever stepping foot aboard. Now, the Navy is preparing to launch its most ambitious experiment yet, USX-1 Defiant, a warship engineered to carry out operations, patrol shorelines across different regions, and even fight against enemies without a single sailor on board. Extreme Autonomy In early 2024, it was revealed that defense contractor Serco was developing a new breed of USV. Unlike previous USVs in the U.S. Navy's arsenal, many of which still feature removable control stations for safety and testing, Defiant was designed from day one to operate unmanned. In 2022, the U.S. government allocated nearly $70 million toward Defiant's development. Though many of its capabilities remain classified, the vessel has been described as 180 feet long, with a displacement of 240 metric tons, placing it within the medium USV category. While Serco has yet to release full specifications, analysts believe Defiant will follow NOMARS's program standards, which call for extreme autonomy. To achieve this, Defiant is expected to incorporate hybrid power generation, a system that combines diesel engines and high-capacity batteries ensuring fuel efficiency and long-range endurance. Advanced hydrodynamic efficiency, achieved by an optimized hull designed to cut through waves with minimal drag, will help reduce energy consumption and increase operational range. And graceful degradation technology is set to support operability as individual components break down over time. After a year at sea, the vessel is expected to maintain speeds of at least 15 knots, even if multiple systems begin to fail. Experts speculate that Defiant could remain at sea for considerable periods of time without requiring a crew for maintenance or resupply. If true, 
This would allow the U.S. to maintain persistent surveillance, deterrence, and strike capabilities without risking human lives. But perhaps one of Defiant's most important features is its production design. Serco has confirmed that the vessel does not require traditional shipyards to be built, meaning it could be manufactured in facilities like railworks. This could allow the U.S. to increase naval production without investing in new shipyards, bypassing one of the greatest obstacles in American shipbuilding capacity. What will Defiant be used for? According to DARPA, USX-1 Defiant is set to undergo a sea demonstration later this spring. However, the true nature of its initial mission remains classified, leaving experts speculating how the U.S. Navy intends to deploy its latest uncrewed warship. In early concept demonstration videos, Serco has showcased Defiant participating in humanitarian operations, utilizing its expansive open deck to transport aid shipments to disaster-stricken regions. But as global tensions mount and military competition escalates, the role of this cutting-edge vessel is far more likely to be one of aggression. Scale models shared by Serco have revealed a more ominous configuration, showcasing Defiant equipped with BAE Systems Adaptable Deck Launching System, or ADL, a weaponized upgrade capable of transforming the vessel into a strike platform. This advanced missile launching system features four angled launch cells capable of firing the same weaponry used by American cruisers and destroyers, including Tomahawk cruise missiles for long-range precision strikes, and quad-packed RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles for high-speed air defense, intercepting incoming threats before they reach the fleet. Though Defiant lacks the firepower of larger warships, ADL would allow her to carry mission-specific weapons and adapt to different battle conditions. By integrating ADL and AI-driven autonomy, the U.S. Navy is moving toward a network fleet where ships like Defiant can coordinate strikes from multiple fronts without risking human lives. Uncrewed warships would no longer hunt for targets on their own. Instead, they could be fed real-time targeting data from aircraft, satellites, and other warships, allowing them to engage threats hundreds of miles away. In a future conflict, this could mean the automatic deployment of autonomous vessel swarms each loaded with adaptable payloads, overwhelming enemy defenses with coordinated missile strikes. The enemy is ahead. Nevertheless, Defiant remains in its early testing stages, and while the U.S. keeps refining its autonomous warship, China is wasting no time. As 2024 drew to a close, China unveiled its most advanced and dangerous uncrewed combat vessel to date at the Zhuhai Air Show, the Jari USVA, also known as Orca. This compact but heavily armed warship boasts a 30mm remote-controlled weapon station, providing close-range firepower. However, its true power lies in its missile and torpedo systems, twin rocket pods capable of launching short-range barrages against enemy ships and aircraft, a vertical launch system allowing it to fire surface-to-air and anti-ship missiles, a feature rarely seen in USVs of its size, and dual torpedo launchers, reportedly housing ET-52 torpedoes, which are capable of tracking and eliminating enemy submarines. What makes the Jari even more powerful is that while it can be remotely controlled, it is also programmed to engage in air defense, anti-ship strikes, and submarine warfare independently by employing artificial intelligence. Military analysts believe Jari will primarily operate alongside China's aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships, extending Beijing's reconnaissance and strike capabilities far beyond the current battlefield, with its reported operational range of 4,000 nautical miles. But China is not stopping at unmanned surface vessels. Recent satellite imagery has revealed an unidentified submarine under construction at the same shipyard that built Jari. Intelligence suggests this may be the world's largest autonomous underwater combat drone, designed for stealth infiltration, reconnaissance, and long-range undersea attacks. Even more worrisome, some experts speculate that this mysterious uncrewed submarine is being developed for imminent military deployment in the Indo-Pacific. The Road Ahead If Defiant's initial exercises go according to plan, Serco could receive the green light for its next project. Dauntless, a larger, more heavily armed evolution of Defiant, 
Dauntless would be capable of carrying up to four adaptable deck launchers and additional payloads, giving the U.S. a new breed of uncrewed combat vessels, with the firepower to engage and eliminate high-value targets across the battlefield. Meanwhile, the U.S. is also expanding its fleet beneath the surface with another autonomous war machine, Orca XLUUV, an extra-large uncrewed submarine developed by Boeing, not to be confused with China's Jari USVA, also nicknamed Orca. Orca XLUUV is engineered for mine countermeasures, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine operations, electronic warfare, and even long-range strikes. Testing began in mid-2023, and early trials have demonstrated its advanced maneuverability both above and below the surface. Still, the future of America's autonomous vessel program relies on defiant success. Her performance in testing will determine whether the U.S. Navy is ready to take the next step into the future of naval warfare. And with China about to secure a fleet unlike anything seen before, Defiant could not afford to falter.